Hi, I'm Lori McMortgage, and since 1996, I've been helping families buy homes when they didn't have the cash to pay for it by providing home mortgage financing. One of my favorite things about the job is that I get to learn something new every day. Guidelines are constantly changing and no two applications are the same. So if you'd like to learn more about the exciting world of mortgage financing, please keep watching and I hope you enjoy. Did you know you need more than just your down payment when you go to close on your new home purchase? Hi, I'm Lori McMortgage, and when I'm helping people plan for a purchase, I always talk to them about their budget for closing and never about their down payment. Why is this? Well, it's because you need more than just your down payment when you show up for closing. So let's talk about what that whole budget looks like. Now the down payment is simply the difference between the price of the home you're purchasing and how much you're gonna borrow. So easy math, you're gonna buy a $200,000 home and you wanna borrow $150,000. The difference is your $50,000 down payment, but there's more to it than that. You've also got closing costs and prepaid items. And then along the way, you will have written some checks and you get credit for that. So how do you determine your budget for closing? Well, first you add your down payment and then you budget for your closing costs. Now your closing costs are things that are more fixed costs in the loan. It's things like underwriting, um, processing, your appraisal, your credit report. Uh, don't forget our title company partners have fees as well. And a lot of these are fixed costs because they are for the service provided or the item provided and don't really have anything to do with the type of loan you're getting or how much you're putting down. So for example, underwriting is typically a set cost because the underwriter is going to do the same thing whether you're borrowing $150,000 or 500,000, so it's a fixed cost. Now the variable portion in um, this number is the prepaid items. And this may not be a term that you commonly hear because most lenders just say, here's your down payment, here's your closing cost, but they're just lumping these prepaid items into the total amount. So your prepaid items are things like your first year of homeowner's insurance and building up your escrow account. And they're comprised of things that are very specific to the home you're buying, like the cost to insure it, or what the property taxes are. So how do you budget for this when you haven't even found a house yet? Well, an experienced lender like me knows the market so well that um, I actually can give you a formula to use in your home shopping and budgeting process. Now, when you get to closing, um, your formula is gonna be down payment, closing cost, plus prepaid items, but then minus a few credits. So what are these credits? Well, when you make an offer on a home, you're going to write a check called the earnest money just to show that the seller that you're serious about the purchase. Um, a lot of times there's an option fee, which I call that the get out of jail free card, although it usually costs a couple hundred dollars, but it's the time period of days to do your due diligence and potentially back out of the contract and get your earnest money back. You're gonna write a check to the inspector, you're gonna pay the appraisal, and at our company, we go ahead and collect the credit report as well. So you get credits for these along the way. So when you are talking about going to closing, it's always better to ask, what's my budget for closing than what's my down payment? Hi, I'm Lori McMortgage, and I help people buy homes when they don't have the cash to pay for it. If it's your first home, your next home, or your rental home, my team and I will make sure you have the right financing in place and the process is smooth and easy. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video and please reach out to us at the information provided. We can't wait to talk to you.